Well, the fan favorite series Power Book 3, Raising Kanan, is back for an intense season two. When Kanan, played by Makai Curtis, returns to New York, he finds that the past may be quickly catching up with him. Take a look. Now, he might not say anything to you at all, so it's not even worth getting into right now. But just know that if he does, that it's just a crazy police who got his head all done it. I thought you said he didn't even remember what happened that night. I thought you said he didn't remember my face, Mom. What is this? You don't know what he remembers or what he forgot, Kenan. You're good, baby. I got you. We good. Oh, and Makai is with us now. Welcome. <laughs> nice to have you. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what is up? Because, I mean, but there was a shocking season finale of mm -hmm. season one. Makai mm -hmm. is back. I mean, not Makai. <laughs> well, Makai is back. Kanan is back, Kanan's too. Back. Right. Kanan is uh -huh. back in New York. Mm -hmm. Tell us where things pick up. Well, yeah, you know, things picked up. Uh, it's been a little bit of a time jump. Uh, things have kind of slowed down after the, the events of the season finale. Yeah. And, you know, Kanan's getting folded back into everything that his mom, Rock, has been uh, working on and building in that time that she sent him away. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, you know, self-reflection that Kanan has gotten to do in that time. And now he comes back home and he, he sees what was so exciting to him before but he kind of sees it in a different way now. It's a little more terrifying. It's a little scary. He, Maybe he's evolving a little he's bit. He's absolutely evolving. That's kind yeah. of, you know, his arc through the second season is yeah. just this evolution of him coming even more into himself. So yeah. it's I been mean, really fun to play it. Yeah, and we see, you know, you come back, we see a lot of tension between mm -hmm. Kanan and his mom. Mm -hmm. Maybe Detective Howard remembers a little more than we thought. You know, what More than we thought or more than she told. But uh, I'm a, I'm yeah, a... yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> not get into the, you know, the little details. But what can we expect for the rest of this season? Um just you know there's a lot of there's a lot of secrets revealed you know there was a lot of tension and things kind of building up in the first season that uh, kind of come to a head in, uh, this year there's a lot of again like I said there's just a lot of self-reflection that Kanan yeah. goes through and questions that he you know gets answers to that lead him to more questions of which course. give him more answers that he's not really ready for yeah. um, and there's just this big kind of clash that you know that happens with all of these different characters and them trying to find uh, even more of themselves in this moment and you know, Raquel is, she's the matriarch, she's the, she's the pinnacle of everything happening, and she's trying to keep all of these people together while they're all trying to branch off and do their own thing. Yeah. So it's a lot happening. It's, it was a lot, uh, to, you know, to get through and, and work through. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited to see how it all came through. Yeah, you know? for sure. I mean, and just... I mean, how exciting is it just to be working with Patina Miller and Omar oh, Epps, oh, right? Oh, come on, like, come I mean... on. I can go on for days about that. It's like one of the best things. Uh, just working with Patina and Omar, they're, they're, they've been around this so long. Yeah. They're, they're literal... You have things to learn from them. Oh, I have, I have things to learn, I feel like, anywhere I'm at. But yeah. especially in, in this space with them, um, they're just so full of wisdom and so full of game and knowledge. And they're so willing to share that with me. So, you know, how can I not sit there and take that all in? Yeah, I imagine you guys have bonded, like everybody on set, it seems like like there's some relationships with all the power franchises. Absolutely, yeah, it's a big family over there. It's a big family. It's so what's it like family. being on set? Like, what's the feeling? Man, like I mean, set? it's just, it's just different. You know, it, it feels amazing uh, for me as a young artist to be able to, you know, step into such a room with so many prolific artists and, and, and talents and performers and it just makes you want to bring you know your performance and your you know attitude up even more so just just having that around and being able to fine-tune my craft even yeah. more around these people is yeah the but best. you're and you're going to continue to fine-tune the craft because oh, you know congratulations because season three was announced Woo! already what? what? Yeah, season three. Yeah, we're well, on the way. I'm what excited. What would you like to see happen uh, in this ne next season? I mean, you know, I just want to see the story of Kanan continue. I mean, that's that's the story we're telling with yeah. Raising Kanan is how Kanan uh, in the original power became who fans of the show know him to be. Yeah. Um, and with Raising Kanan, you know, people who don't really know about the franchise get to go on this ride with this character um, and see how that transforms him and how this character then transforms everybody in the rest of the, the franchise. Yeah, well, it is a good show. Congrats. Thank you so uh, and much, And you can Sarah. catch new episodes of Power Book 3, Raising Kanan, every Sunday on Stars. Oh, Stars, check us out. Check it out.